The UDISC connection involves setting up a project to cut in the software, but instead of sending the file directly from your computer to the cutter, you'll have to save it as a PLT file on the USB flash drive that is plugged into your computer. Then you can plug in that USB flash drive into your cutting machine, load the file, and send it to cut using the control panel's functions. In SignMaster, click on the launch icon on the toolbar and select Vinyl Spooler from the drop-down menu. A new window will open. Select the Connection tab and from the Current Cutter drop-down menu, select which model you are using. Under the Port Type, select Windows Port. Under Port, select U-Disk. Click on the Cut Options tab. Assuming that you are cutting with a blade, mark the option for blade offset and enter the recommended settings for the blade offset and overcut. Also, on the Cut Options tab, unmark the options for force and speed because it's recommended that these settings be made on the control panel itself. Otherwise, if you need to adjust those settings, you'll have to return the flash drive to the computer and resave the PLT file. Click on Done to close the vinyl spool window. When the file is ready to cut, make sure that you have the flash drive plugged into your computer. Click on this Cut Blade icon and select Send to Cutter. If you're doing a contour cut project, click on the Apple icon and select the Contour Cut Wizard. In this video, we're going to select the first one. Note that in this window, will also have the same settings that you'll see in the Contour Cut Wizard. You can click on the Properties to return to the Vinyl Spooler window in case you want to verify your connections or change the cut settings. Otherwise, make any other necessary changes and then click on the Cut Now. A new window opens. Locate your flash drive on your computer. Enter a name for the file and then click on Save. You are now ready to move the flash drive over to the cutter. Plug the USB flash drive into the USB port on the right end cap. On the main screen, go to the Force and Speed window to make the necessary changes and perform test cuts if needed in order to optimize your settings. Return to the home screen and select the USB option. Select Open File. Press U-Disk. Scroll to locate the PLT file that you saved and double tap the file name to load the file into your cutter. The file should now appear in the prior USB screen. You can set up an array of repeats if you wish by marking the Array option and pressing the Array Set. More details will be covered in a different video. Press Start Cut to execute the cut file.